Welcome to the online training addressing bacteria in your well water. It is provided to you by the National Groundwater Association with support from the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. This training takes about 15 minutes. The time you invest in it could protect your drinking water quality and your health. Make sure to take the quiz after you finish to see what you've learned. Bacteria are the smallest single-celled organisms that can live entirely on their own. Most bacteria found in water do not cause disease. Those that do are called pathogens. Coliforms are bacteria that occur naturally in the environment and may indicate the possibility of pathogens. Fecal coliform and E. coli are bacteria whose presence indicates that water may be contaminated by human or animal waste harmful to human health. Potential sources of bacteria include runoff from woodlands, pastures, and feedlots, septic tanks and sewage plants, wild and domestic animals. Potential pathways of bacteria into well water include reduced pressure or suction in water lines that draw soil water at pipe joints, faulty sanitary seals in a well system such as a faulty well cap, grout, or pitless adapter. Here's a review question. Fecal coliform and E. coli presence in water may indicate contamination by A. Animal waste B. Human waste C. Neither and D. Both. The answer is D. Fecal coliform and E. coli presence in water may indicate contamination by both animal and or human waste. Here's another review question. All bacteria in water are harmful to human health. True or false? The answer is false. Only some bacteria, called pathogens, are disease-causing. Many coliforms are harmless. It is important to determine if your well is at risk for bacterial contamination. Pathogens like E. coli can be difficult to detect but total coliforms, which are more common and easier to grow in lab tests, make them useful as indicators of potential pathogenic bacteria. Although pathogens may not be present even if coliforms are, positive total coliform test results should be taken seriously. Some strains of E. coli can be very harmful to health, even lethal. Some, but not all, the symptoms of pathogenic bacteria can include diarrhea, cramps, nausea, and headaches. Here's another review question. Total coliforms are tested in water because A. These bacteria are hazardous to one's health. B. They are easy to grow in a lab test. C. They are an indicator of possible pathogenic bacteria. D. Both B and C and E, all of the above? The answer is B and C. Total coliform are tested in water because they are easy to grow in lab tests and they are an indicator of possible pathogenic bacteria. It is important to assess the risk of your well system for bacterial contamination. The first and most important step is to test your water annually at a minimum for bacteria and more often if symptoms indicate. Beyond a water test, you should get a periodic inspection by a qualified water well system professional. Consult with a professional as to when it is time to get a well inspection. An inspection by a qualified water well system professional should include a visual inspection of the wellhead, well system components, and other related equipment. Well inspections also should include physical inspection of the well system components and documentation of the entire inspection. Here's another review question. The way to know if your water well system is at risk for bacterial contamination is to get a water test. The answer is false. While a water test could in fact indicate a risk of bacterial contamination, an inspection of a well system could discover a pathway for bacteria to enter the well, thus also revealing a risk of bacterial contamination. 
Methods commonly used to treat bacteria in water are disinfection, which kills the bacteria, filtration, which traps the bacteria, ultraviolet radiation, which kills the bacteria, and sometimes a combination of methods is used. To learn more about how to approach treating your water, visit www.wellowner.org and take our online lesson, Treating Your Water, Contaminants That Present a Health Risk or Other Problems. Go to www.wellowner.org to find out more about useful private well owner information tools including the Private Well Owner Hotline at 855-420-9355. The Private Well Owner Tip Sheet, a monthly email of helpful water well tips available through wellowner.org. More online well owner lessons and upcoming free well owner webinars. For more information on water treatment technologies, visit the National Sanitation Foundation's website at www.nsf.org. NSF is an independent product certification lab that tests and certifies home water treatment systems. You also can visit the Water Quality Association at www.wqa.org. The Water Quality Association has an independent product certification lab that tests and certifies home water treatment systems. Don't forget, Check wellowner.org for other online lessons in the near future if you have questions such as, how do I get water treatment? How should I maintain my well? How can I keep my water safe? What should I do if my well floods? What should I know about getting water testing near hydraulic fracturing? Or what should I know about getting a new well?